What's up guys, JTales here. It has been quite some time. Um, a lot has been going on. I, uh... Well, I finally graduated, so <laughs> that's the first thing, first and foremost thing I wanted to say. Um, so I plan on doing a lot more with my YouTube channel. Um, I was at CEO, and I ended up placing 33rd place. Uh, did pretty well for myself. I want it a little bit better. But um, in more recent news, I'm going to be at EVO this weekend. Um, for those of you who don't know what EVO is, it is the largest fighting game tournament in the world. And that also includes uh, Street Fighter V, Tekken, Melee, Smash Wii U, and many other games. So if you want to see how I'm doing um, over there, feel free to... Uh, check me out on Twitter. If I'm going to play on stream, I will tweet it out so you guys can know that and um, basically follow me on Twitter so that you can stay updated with how I'm doing in bracket and anything of the sort. So today, I'm going to get into a fun technique that I was messing around with and you can take it for what it is. Um, I'm not claiming that this is the greatest uh, thing ever. But it's just a little technique that I enjoy a lot, and it's netted me a lot of kills, actually, um, as Toon Link, um, in practice matches. I haven't used this in tournament yet, um, so I'm curious to see how it would work, but... So, basically, what I'm going to show you is how early it can kill, let's say, Fox, a Fox player. Um, we can even put him at 60. And uh, we're just going to go over here just for argument's sake. So, yeah, um, so I'm happy to be back and maybe uh, making some more videos. So what this is, is, alright, when Toon Link is at max rage, obviously um, knockback is increased. Not sure why Fox is just doing that. And when he's at max rage, he can kill a Fox anywhere from 55 and up. Um, on almost all the stages. So, what the, what this uh, technique is is uh, if you know that your opponent's going to go to the ledge, you just wait for them to grab it, trump them, and then you reverse up B them off the stage. No matter how far you use the up B, you'll always be able to drift back to the ledge. Just got to make sure that you do it properly. But you will never kill yourself with this. The only danger with this. Well, there I just messed up. But uh, the only danger with this technique is... Oh, look at that swivel. Um, is that you miss your opponent, which it's really risky if you don't perform it correctly. Um, you can miss your opponent, or um, certain characters, especially light characters, they can DI out of this. So I wouldn't recommend it on the entire cast. But... Against fast fallers like Fox and Sheik, and against big heavy characters like Ryu, Cloud, Mega Man, Bowser, Donkey Kong, I could see it working very well. Um, especially if you don't trump them um, most of the match, you would then go ahead and trump them and then reverse up B for the KO. And it, it really is quite a surprise um, if your opponent isn't expecting it. So I think it's an option that. Um, more Toon Link players should look into. And this is not just for Toon Link. I know people are going to ask in the comments. This also works for Big Link. Um, however, it might be a little bit more difficult to pull off, but it definitely works with Big Link as well. So I'm just quickly going to go into training mode and explain how to do the technique. Um, so with Max Rage, it, like I said, it kills Fox at 55 and up. So you can use Fox's weight as a reference, and since you know that it kills Fox at 55 with max rage, then with less than max rage it might kill a little bit later. Um, same thing, if it's a heavier character you might uh, want to get them to a decent percent and try to do it on them, but to explain how to do this it's pretty simple. There's also another variation where you can actually wait until the bomb is about to explode. If you think it's too much of a risk, you can uh, actually do it, do the up B, and then wait for the bomb to explode so that you are covering yourself. See? Boom, and now I can swing and attack and defend myself. 
But this is really hard to time. Um, it's just an idea. See, and then you can swing, you can mix it up. Or you can also go for something really interesting that I haven't tested out yet, but it would be the double. It would be the double up B. Um, maybe we can test this out now, very quickly, and then I'll get into exactly how to do it. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this video fairly short. So let's get Fox off stage. And let's pull out a bomb. And let's wait. The bomb did not explode. Alright. Ooh, that I mistimed it there. Alright, so let's get him off stage again and immediately pull, pull out a bomb. Maybe it will take a little bit longer. Oh, and I messed that up. Still did not explode on time. So as you can see, this is going to be really uh, timing dependent. If we're going to go for this bomb technique sort of thing. Oh, he just upbeat right onto the stage. Well, the bomb explodes, still helps me out, regardless of anything, but I'm curious to see if this double upbeat uh, could actually be put into practice somehow, because I find it to be interesting. Um, maybe we can, somehow. Ah, alright, well, in any case, uh, so, to do this technique, you have to be standing at the ledge, basically. Um, you stand directly at the ledge, you can even be, like, here, doesn't really matter. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna input a half a circle motion. So on the joystick, you're gonna hit right, and then you're gonna curve to down, and then you're gonna hit left. And what this is gonna allow you to do is hog the edge immediately. This is an instant edge hog. So this is how you trump people. No matter what character you are, that's gonna be how you trump people um, and instantly hog the edge from your opponent. So now the fun part, after you get the trump, right, you grab the ledge, what you're going to do is as soon as you trump, you're going to press back and then you're going to jump and up B. And that all has to be done instantly. So trump, back jump, up B. And when you perform your up B, you want to hold uh, out. You want to hold to the right so that Toon Link actually faces the other direction. You don't want to do the up B uh, this way because then you won't hit your opponent. So let's see it all now. Trump back up B. Back jump up B. Yeah. Definitely have to jump. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing back and then I'm using the X button to jump and then I'm doing my uh, B reverse up B. And it all has to be done very quickly. If not, you won't hit your opponent. They're gonna just already be gone by that point in time. So, yeah, this is a... I think it's a cool technique. I think Toon Link players should use it a little bit more, at least as a mix-up. I think it's worth a try. Um, they can fall out of it, but either way, they're not in too favorable of a position to hit you or even kill you. Um, but... You know, like I said, don't go on doing this every moment in time. It's just an option that I feel like people aren't aware of, and I think it's very good. I just think it's underused, and it's worth looking into. It's not the best option, and it's not the safest option, but it could get you kills. So, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm probably going to be doing a Shulk Guide next, and yeah, um... Those of you who are interested, check me out at Evo, and I will see you all next time. Later.